Hi gang, Rob here. It is the evening of 9 December 2021, Thursday night, 9 o'clock, time for a knife sale on the Apostle P channel. And that's exactly what we have for you tonight. It's kind of a medium-sized sale. I think there's 35 or 36 items tonight. Two watches, one multi-tool, the rest all cutlery. It's going to be fun. Before we get into the meat of the sale, as you peruse your Christmas shopping choices, time for a little bit of housekeeping. First up, I need you to be familiar with and agreeable to the terms of the sale. Please pay close attention to the terms and to my acknowledgement emails on exactly what to do when you buy a knife. The instructions are pretty clear, but sometimes we tend to go astray. So just be familiar with those. Specifically, leaving the note field blank in PayPal, paying by friends or family only, and emailing me your address emailing me your address. <clears throat> I will post the terms up on the screen for you in just a moment. They will also be reprinted in the description underneath this video. Also in the description, right above the terms, you're going to see three links to previous videos on the channel. The first <clears throat> is to my Primer for Buyers video. That's a 38-minute expanded explanation of the terms of the sale. So for new buyers, that is worth watching. The second link is to my FAQs for consigners video. That explains how this all works from the perspective of the consigning seller. And by the way, consignment backlog is low right now. Low. So if you've got some knives you need to move along, give that FAQs for consigners video a watch and send them on in. The third link, as always, is to my rates and services video for the Apostle P Knife Service, the original precision sharpening service for the online knife community. So in the description, you'll see those three links, then the terms of the sale, then at the very bottom, the list of tonight's inventory, complete with timestamps and pricing. In that pricing column, the number to the left of the slash is your price as shown, number to the right as sharpened by the Apostle P Knife Service, and there will be next day sharpening available for the first six knives purchased to be sharpened tonight. So those first six will ship tomorrow, Friday the 10th, with all of the as shown inventory. I think that's about it for housekeeping. Let's get the terms up on the screen, and then we'll be right back with the sale. Here are the terms. All right, let's get to it, shall we? First up, one of three slash four leftovers from last week. It's going to come in this nice hard-sided pouch with <clears throat> the original microfiber baggie and the original paperwork. This knife, <clears throat> I'm kind of surprised, hung around after last week. Let's see if I can actually get the stuff back in the package. This is a vintage 1990 Benchmade 9050 AFO Automatic. Note the decidedly Al Mar Sear styling. <clears throat> Hard anodized black aluminum handle. Going to be right hand carry tip up or down. Got the old Parkerized. Benchmade USA Emerson style clip. Button lock auto with spine safety. Sweet firing action on the swedged drop point blade. The old BK1 coating showing its 
experience. 154 cm blade, 3 and 5 eighths inches in length, a 4 and 3 quarters handle. This knife purchased brand new about 1990 by an American serviceman. It was in Desert Storm, 1990, 1991. It was in Somalia, 1993. It was retired in 1994. And what some 27 years later, it is available for sale. <clears throat> By the way, action, stupendous, lockup, rock solid, centering down the middle. This, guys, is a piece of history. We'll call it excellent, no box. <clears throat> we ran it last week for 150, got no takers. Dropped it to 125. On Saturday, it is still here. Somebody gets it this week for 110 shipped priority mail. 130 if you'd like it with my edge on it. That's in your inventory as Benchmade 9050 AFO Auto. Next up, we ran these knives separately last week and then combined them on Saturday. We're going to leave them together for this week's sale. And we're going to call this the Buck Slash Fox Combo. First up in the camo hard-sided nylon sheath is the Buck Omni Hunter. <clears throat> 420HC steel, three and a quarter inch blade, gut hook, rubber handle, super good in hand for all your hunting tasks. This knife is, we'll call it like new, no box. These list for about 40 bucks online. I'm not sure I could find this exact configuration. They come in different colors of handle and sheath. And then you're also going to get from Fox Knives the FX 598 Karambit. Comes in a cool Kydex sheath with some version of a tech lock. You got your Hawkbill Karamba blade. I'm not sure why we have an Emerson opener, but we do. Feels like some kind of an epoxy coating. G10 handle. Blade steel is N690CO. Blade length is 2 and 3 eighths. Handle is 4 and a half. And for a ringtail knife, very nice ergos. It is like new in box with that smart kydex sheath. These list at your favorite retailer for about $124. <clears throat> so about $40 and about $124. So what is that? $164 bucks if you bought these brand new. Your price on the combo, $80 bucks this week, which is $10 less than the Saturday price, plus $20 each for me to sharpen them. That is the Buck Fox Combo. Next up, I am knocking stuff over. From Puma, in the SGB series from Puma, we have the Sonic Flipper with carbon fiber scales, stainless steel liner lock construction, deep carry polished clip, and a blade shape that is oh so familiar. You betcha. This blade fashioned out of 4116 stainless steel. Blade length is 3 and 5 eighths. The handle is 4 and 5 eighths. There's your liner lock engagement. It is rock solid. Your ball bearing pivot action is stupendous. The centering is very close to perfect. Condition on the SGB. We'll call it near mint in box. It's got a bit of a polished edge on it. We're going to leave that alone. Web price of these brand new is $149. We ran this last week for $110, got no takers, dropped it on Saturday to $90. It is still here. Somebody takes this one home. All in, shipped, priority mail, $75. No need to sharpen. <clears throat> That's the Puma SGB Sonic Flipper. All right, guys, on to the fresh stuff. And the first one, I think, is going to make someone very happy. 
from the Emerson Knife Company. We have sort of a modern Emerson. It's the the Robert Grossman inspired sheepdog ball bearing flipper with the Bowie blade. There you go. Ball bearing flipper. Yeah, how about that? Three and one half inch blade. Four and seven eighths inches of G10 handle with titanium and stainless steel liners. This one has been outfitted with anodized blue standoffs and thumb disc. The original thumb disc and standoffs and about, I don't know, 25 or 30 clips. Actually, two more clips in the baggie. It has been used and sharpened, I think you can see. Lockup is solid. Centering is doggone nice. Flipping action. Superb. So let's see. Apparently there's been a change in distribution at Emerson. When these were in stock at web retailers, whoops, they were $220. they are gone now. <clears throat> now you buy these from Emerson directly. And the Sheepdog in this configuration sells direct from Emerson at $256. We'll call this one excellent. No box. Your price. Oh, by the way, Blade Steel 154 CM. Sorry about that. Your price 180 like it is. 200 with an Apostle P Edge. That's the Emerson Sheepdog. Next up, one of several Victorinox offerings for you tonight. This one has the box. I think it's the only one. Hard to read the tiny little print, but this is the Victorinox One-Handed Trekker. The knife that kind of put this new large frame Victorinox on the map. So you've got the 110 millimeter large frame. It is one-handed because of the opening hole in the main blade. And it is a liner lock that is left-handed, believe it or not. Uh -huh. Then you've got a saw. The amazing Victorinox saw. Then you've got small screwdriver can opener. Large screwdriver. Wire cutter cap lifter. Tweezer. Toothpick. Phillips screwdriver. And an all. Black. Pebbled. Polymer scales, <clears throat> inlaid shield. Condition is like new in the box. <clears throat> you can find these online at your favorite retailer between fifty-two and fifty-five dollars. But of course, you'll probably have to pay some shipping and some sales tax, or just buy this one. Forty bucks shipped priority mail. Sixty with an Apostle P edge on that main blade. That's the Victorinox one-handed trekker. Next up, here's a knife I've never seen before. Kind of cool, actually. <clears throat> From Outdoor Edge, we have the wood-handled pocket light. Interesting little Chinese knife, I think. And here's what makes it interesting. Notice the wood. As I roll it, you're going to see no layers. Those are solid wood scales. Uh-huh. Midlock backlock mechanism. Very viper like, I gotta say. Super sweet, smooth action. Must be on washers. Blade steel is OS 8. Blade length is 3 and 3 16 That's all the way back to the handle. So, effective blade a lot shorter than that. Um, 4 and an eighth is your handle length. Very cool forward grip on this knife. Lockup is rock solid. Action is buttery. And the centering is perfect. Now this wood handle model is out of stock everywhere. <clears throat> I believe when they were in stock they were about 40 bucks. Plus tax and postage I'm sure. This one can be yours. Like new in box. $30 shipped. Priority mail. 
50 with an Apostle P edge. That is the outdoor edge pocket light. Next up, heading over Ohio way, <clears throat> we have an LT Wright handcrafted knife. This one would be the LT Wright Next Gen in CPM 3V flat ground with green polished canvas micarta handle. It's going to come with that lovely leather sheath, D-ring and a dangle. <clears throat> or unsnap that and go high ride. It's also going to come with this Kydex sheath that you can outfit however you'd like. Then we have a knife. Here it is. It's very, very Kephart, isn't it? It is. That 3V blade, just 130 thousandths thin, as Horace would have it. Ground 90 degree spine, spear point blade, ground very thinly, uh, 3 and 7 16 inches of blade length, 4 and 1 16th of handle. The thumb divots are perfection. And the handle is shaped like a stick. Just as God intended the human hand to grip. Uh -huh condition I'm going to call excellent in box. <clears throat> it's been used, sharpened. There's a couple scratches in the satin finish. These are out of stock everywhere in 3V. When they were available, they were $148 at your favorite web retailer. You can't buy a new one, though. But you can buy this one. Excellent in box. $125 shipped priority mail with both sheaths. $145 if you'd like it with my edge on it. That's the LT Wright Next Gen 3V. Next up, we're going to take a little break from the cutlery, and we're going for some watches. First up, <clears throat> from Kenneth Cole. This is the Kenneth Cole Reaction Moon Phase Chronograph. I guess it's to go with your Kenneth Cole Reaction Cologne. Here you go. Sort of a tank-shaped watch. Dual finish on that dial. You've got some vertical striping <clears throat> milled into that dial around the perimeter then just a flat black round portion you have days of the week at nine days of the month at three moon phase at six a japanese quartz movement dimensions are 33 wide by 37 high 44 lug to lug and just eight millimeters thin on this genuine leather strap. We will call its condition excellent to near mint in box. Just some very, very fine scratches. Not an expensive watch. It is kind of cool and it can be yours in the box. 25 bucks shipped priority mail. 25 bucks shipped priority mail. No need to sharpen. <laughs> Next up, we have an EcoDrive Citizen, kind of a pilot style watch. No box, but we do have the instruction manual for the EcoDrive movement. I don't have a reference number for this watch. It is a matte black dial, sort of a pilot style watch with a large chapter ring. That is not a rotating bezel. PVD coated case, 42 diameter. 49 lug to lug, 20 millimeter lug width, 12 millimeters thick, wearing a gray sailcloth strap, leather line, signed citizen buckle, eco drive quartz movement. Should keep time, what, plus or minus 10 seconds a month ish. Condition is very, yeah, I'm going to call it excellent to near mint. Uh, no box, 100 meters of water resistance. I'm going to throw in a loom shot, and it ain't spectacular, just so you know. But, you know, this watch probably sold for the high 100s, close to $200. Brand new. Can be yours. 130 
shipped priority mail that's the citizen eco drive pilot watch <clears throat> next up from Maniago Italy by way of sulfur Oklahoma we have a Viper model number is CKSJRA which means nothing we know this as the Viper slash collector knives sway back and look at that Amboina Burl would ya huh. titanium bolsters screw together construction we call this a fusion knife on the Apostle P channel your closed length is three and five eighths inside that luscious handle is that gorgeous Warncliffe blade in Bowler M390 it pulls at a solid seven on a half stop walk and talk are perfect centering is dead down the middle condition is like new in the box the swayback is out of stock in this cover material when it was available it was 142 from Matt collector knives this one came to yours shipped priority mail 130 like it is 150 with an Apostle P edge next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six that's the Viper slash collector knives swayback next up time to head over to Titusville this is a fun knife <clears throat> From the Great Eastern Cutlery series of Great Eastern Cutlery, the Acorn family of knives, we got a stainless steel offering. It is the number 89 stainless fruit knife, model 892121. Cover material, apples and oranges acrylic. That's what makes it fun. And it's going to come with the button and here's the knife what a sweet little slim gem that is huh look at that you got the gimp shield brightly polished nickel silver hardware the gorgeous apples and oranges acrylic closed length on the 89 is four inches <clears throat> it is a single spear blade suitable for cutting up fruit mm -hmm. It's on a cam tang. Pull is about a seven. Excellent walk and talk. Centering is pretty close. It does favor the right side ever so slightly. Condition is near mint to like new in tube. <clears throat> they are out of stock. Your price on this one? $100 like it is $120 with an Apostle P edge. That's the GEC Acorn number 89 fruit knife. Next up, hmm, I don't imagine anybody's going to want this knife. Uh, it's from Great Eastern Cutlery. It's just a, just a handcrafted Teddy Ute knife. I don't know what that means. Number 470120 in brown burlap micarta. The button in the tube says it's a Viper. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh, mm. seven pull, perfect walk and talk, perfect centering, near mint to like new in the tube. Your price, a deuce and a quota, two twenty-five like it is, two forty with an apostle P edge. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six. That is the GEC Tidute number forty-seven Viper. <clears throat> Next up, here is a very special knife from the W R Case and Sons Cutlery Company. This is a Case Double X six one five four nine L. SS copper lock notice the engraved bolsters and end caps notice that Rogers corn cob jig pattern 
Kentucky Bluegrass Bone Set of Covers. The Copper Lock Midlock Mechanism. The Clip Point Blade with Long Pull and Cut Swedge in True Sharp Stainless. A satisfying snick when it locks open and it's rock solid. Action's buttery. Centering is pretty good for a case. Some might say it's perfect. What that? Condition near mint, no box. They made 250 of these, and this is number 172. Let's see if I can get the etch to show up. Or the engraving. It's right there. So 172 of 250. These were produced in 2013. Your price on this one, 150, like it is. 150. 170 with an Apostle P edge. I'd probably not suggest sharpening this one, guys. Again, the Case XX61549L SS Copper Lock. Next up, from Finch. From Finch, we've got a model 1929 in stunning Cocobolo. Interesting little modern folder that emulates a traditional Barlow. We'll call it a stainless steel bolster lock, right? Because the frame lock mechanism revealed where the Barlow's bolster would be. Looks like a milled pocket clip. It is a flipper mechanism on ball bearings. Beautiful horizontal satin on that pirate clip blade. Blade steel is 154 cm. <clears throat> Two and a half inch blade. Three and nine sixteenths inch handle. There's your frame lock engagement. It's rock solid. Ball bearing action is super slick. Centering is perfect. Flipping action. Awesome. Condition on this one's going to be near mint to like new in box. I don't think I could really find a defect. In Cocobolo, this knife is out of stock everywhere. When they were available, they were $120 online. This one can be yours. $100 shipped priority mail. $120 with an Apostle P edge. That's the Finch 1929. <clears throat> Next up. You talk about a plain black box. Look at that, guys. Uh -huh. The only identification is right here. It's a Barlow front flipper in brown micarta with a spear blade. Whose could it be? Uh-oh. It's from Enrique Pena's X-Series. You betcha. Here we go, guys. Here's a cool fusion interpretation. It emulates a Barlow in styling, but it's everything a modern knife, right? Titanium bolster lock with steel inserted lock interface natural canvas micarta scales milled titanium pocket clip front flipper that i won't even attempt spear point blade in m392 and 15 16 inches in length i got it all fingerprinted up i'm sorry about that rock solid lock up there's your engagement ball bearing action super sweet Centering on this one is going to be perfect. Condition is like new in the box. These are out of stock everywhere. When they were available, they were $275. This one can be yours. Shipped, priority mail. $225 like it is. $250 with an Apostle P edge. That's the Pena X Series Spear Barlow. And next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six. Next up. From Monterey Bay Knives, MBK, in a beautifully made pouch with a nice cleaning cloth and a plastic poly bag. We've got the Monterey Bay EWC. We're going to call this one a detent slip joint, meaning <clears throat> no locking mechanism, just a detent closed and a detent open. It is a nice low profile flipper. On ball bearings. <clears throat> blade steel is M390. Blade length on that spear point blade is two and three quarters. And then the handle length is three and fifteen sixteenths. 
I believe, yes. The designer is one Ray Laconico. Pretty positive open on that detent. Centering is going to be a little to the left as you're looking at it. We'll call it near mint to like new in pouch. Um, I did find one pricing reference, a sold knife on Arizona Custom Knives at $195. They're doing a little less than that on eBay. Uh, I think they were $180 when they were offered brand new. This one can be yours, $150 shipped, priority mail. $175 with my edge on it. And by the way, that's green natural canvas micarta. Or, I'm sorry, OD green canvas micarta. Next up, oh my, whenever these guys release a knife, they just go crazy. From Jens Anso and Jesper Voxness, Giant Mouse Cutlery, we have the Ace Grand. The Grand. Bigger than a Biblio, much bigger than an Iona, in OD Green, Nats, or OD Green Canvas Micarta, Titanium Backspacer, Deep Carry, tip up reversible pocket clip ball bearing pivot and a blade of Elmax three and five sixteenths inches in length a robust clip point mm -hmm. four and nine sixteenths inch handle silky smooth ball bearing action the centering is going to favor the left just a little bit <clears throat> We're going to call this near mint to like new in box. Good luck finding one. <laughs> this one can be yours though. 220 like it is. 245 with an Apostle Piage. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six tonight. The Giant Mouse Ace Grand. Next up. From Prometheus Design Works by way of a little company known as Protec. Oh. Yeah, the Prometheus Design Protec manufactured Invictus side folding automatic knife. Hard anodized black aluminum handle, deep carry right hand tip up pocket clip, scale mounted safety. The opening button has a tiny tritium vial in it. And this is not the red buttoned Invictus. This is the tritium buttoned Invictus. DLC coated blade, gorgeous spear point and 154 cm, three and three eighths inches in length. I got some schmutz on it. There's a little bit of rub going on in the coating. And I believe some guy in Fort Wayne, Indiana might have sharpened this for its consigner. Mm -hmm. Lock up rock solid. Centering is very close to perfect, if not perfect. Opening action, stunning. Protec, stunning. <clears throat> Condition, we'll call this excellent to near mint. No box, okay? Uh, secondary market pricing on these is all over the place. We're going to put this one kind of toward the bottom of what they're doing. 225 shipped priority mail no need to sharpen that is the prometheus design works invictus next up from kaiser we got a model viazin vanguard 3508a2 critical mini the critical mini <clears throat> I think I'm going to call that black canvas micarta that has not been impregnated with any finger oils yet. Deep carry tip up pocket clip going to be right hand only. We have a flipper on phosphor bronze and it flips excellent. Blade steel is 3V, CPM 3V on a Kaiser. I don't believe I've seen that before. But right there it is, look at that. Mm -hmm. Stainless steel liner lock. It's rock solid, although very early. Centering is down the middle. 
action. Superb. You don't need those stupid little ball bearings. Just do washers right. So yeah, these knives are up over 100 bucks for a while. Blade HQ has them on sale right now for $89, which is a blowout. Or just buy this one, like new, in the box for $75, bucks, shipped priority mail, $95 with an Apostle P. Edge. Next day sharpening is available in time for Christmas. It's the Kaiser V3508A2 Critical Mini. Next up, it's Civivivi time. And first up from Civivi, we've got an Appalachian Drifter in olive micarta with gray stainless steel liners and a gray stone washed CPM S35 VN blade. We've had a couple of these Appalachian Drifters on the channel for sale, but never in that handle material. Look at that, would you? Mm-hmm. Deep carry clip. Very low profile flipper. I gotta turn my page, guys. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so yeah. It is a detent slip joint, not on bearings, again on phosphor bronze. So no locking mechanism, just a detent to hold it open, a detent to hold it closed, perfect blade centering, super sweet action. Blade length is two and seven eighths of clip point gorgeousness with long pulls on both sides. In case you don't want to flip it, just grab it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Centering is very close, might favor the left ever so slightly. 3 and 15 16 inches of closed length. It's like new in the box. Again, Blade HQ has this knife on sale right now. Christmas clearance for $73. This one can be yours like new in box for cheaper than that. 60 bucks shipped, priority mail, no sales tax. 80 with an Apostle P Edge. The Civivi Appalachian Drifter. <clears throat> Next up, we have another Civivi. This one is the Civivi Ortis in a hand-rubbed Damascus. Check this out, my friends. How's that for classic handle shape? Carbon fiber scales, reversible, deep carry, tip-up pocket clip. It's a flipper on bearings, and there's that hand-rubbed Damascus. Uh-huh. Blade length is three and a quarter. <clears throat> handles four and three sixteenths, so very efficient blade to handle ratio. Very nice forward finger choil if you have fingers the size of a little girl. <clears throat> Stainless steel liner lock. There's your engagement. It's rock solid. Centering is perfect. Action is stunning. Condition is like new in the box. Right now, Blade HQ is having a big sale for Christmas on most of their Chinese knife inventory. They've got these brand new for $78 plus tax and shipping. This one can be yours. All in, shipped, priority mail, to your door. $70 like it is, $90 with an Apostle Piage. The Civivi Ortis Damascus. Next up. From Spyderco, Golden, Colorado Earth, USA, we have a Para 3 in CTS XHP. Uh -huh. But not just any Para 3. We are wearing a Kydex neck sheath. And we're wearing the Signet Ring Backspacer, which is completely removable, by the way, if you don't like it. Orange G10, DLC blade, CTS XHP steel. I believe these were what, a cutlery shop dealer exclusive? Rock solid, swinging free, centering down the middle. It better be because it's got to fit in that signet ring backspacer notch. Uh -huh. 
condition. I'm going to call near mint in box just because of the mods. In stock configuration, so without the Kydex neck sheath and the signet ring uh, backspacer, these are doing between 200 and 250 in sold listings on eBay. We're going to put this right in the middle with all the accessories. So 225 all in shipped priority mail and then 245 with an apostle piage next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six knives purchased to be sharpened tonight i doing that right yes that kydex fits perfectly by the way next up we have a bag of bench made pocket clips we've got a parkerized deep carry we have a parkerized emerson and we have a parkerized split arrow with a bunch of screws <clears throat> and then we've got is that right no yeah yes that is right then we've also got another shorty deep carry on the knife oh wait it's a bench bed 945 you do not have your screen oriented wrong it is a short 940 it's a 945 with the purple anodized standoffs s30v blade First production run knife. Two and seven eighths blade, three and seven eighths handle, green anodized aluminium. Perfect action. Perfect lockup. Centering is close. Condition is going to be near mint. No box. Map pricing on these knives brand new at your favorite web retailer is 174 and change. This one can be yours. One. 45 like it is 165 with an apostle piage and next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six the bench made 945 osborne with a thousand clips and a mile of cars next up another one from bench made look at this little cutie wearing the orange are those normal gtx scales i think they are the Parkerized Shorty Deep Carry Clip, the orange anodized aluminum standoffs, and thumb studs. We got a Benchmade 533 Mini Bug Out in S30V. Two and three quarter inch blade. Three and three quarter inch handle. Whoops. Action, stupendous. Lock up. Rock solid. And the centering on this bug out is what? Perfect. We'll call it near mint to like new. No box. No box. Map pricing on these at your favorite web retailer is 119 Or just buy this one. All in. Shipped. Priority mail. $100 like it is. $120 with an Apostle Piedge next day. Sharpening available. The Benchmade 533 mini bug out. Next up, okay guys, <clears throat> we're doing it again. You know the story, I had one, I gave it to a friend of mine who gave me some motorcycle gear. I've wanted it back ever since. You've watched several of these pass before the camera on the Apostle P knife sale and you keep snapping them up. Last week I gave you till 912 to buy the Chaparral FRN and it was purchased at nine o'clock. Uh-huh. Here you go. CTS XHP. Less than 90,000 thick blade stock. Beautiful gray FRN handle. Rock solid lockup. Super sweet action. Centering on this one is perfect. It is near mint to like new with no box. Pricing on these at your favorite web retailer brand new is 96 bucks. They are in stock. Your price on this one, $80 like it is. $100 with an Apostle P Edge. Next day sharpening is available. This week, you guys have five minutes to buy this, or I'm taking it. At 9.05, I'm marking it sold. So you better act quickly, because I really want this knife. Spider Coast Chaparral FRN. Next up, from Leatherman. In one of the most nicely constructed nylon pouches in the history of tools with a heavy-duty snap 
we've got the Leatherman Wave. If I can get it out, there we go. The Wave. Uh huh. You've got your Leatherman pliers with replaceable wire cutting jaws. Uh huh. We have a full complement of interior tools, including the screwdriver with the replaceable and interchangeable bits. You guys know all the stuff, right? On the outside of the handle, we got cutlery. Over here, we got a serrated sheep's foot. We got somewhere. We got a saw. We got a file. We got a plain edge drop point. All that, and this is brand new, guys, in pouch, no box. Um, this tool sells online everywhere for $99.95. Everywhere. That's how much it is. This one can be yours, like new, in pouch, $75, bucks, shipped priority mail, $95 for me to sharpen that main blade. That's the Leatherman Wave. Next up, it's time for some Victorinox. We're going to call this the Victorian Victorinox a -Lox Combo. We got a Cadet and a Pioneer X, both in like new, no box condition. Let's run through the Cadet tools. Main spear. Small screwdriver can opener. Large screwdriver cap lifter wire cutter. Nothing back here. And a split ring. Mm-hmm. Pioneer X on the old soldier or modern, what are we calling them now? I forget. Anyway, large uh, 91 millimeter, I think. Alox frame, split ring, main spear, small screwdriver can opener, large screwdriver wire cutter cap lifter. And somewhere, where is it? There it is. Where's my neck? There we go. What makes it an X? Well, that X makes it an X. <clears throat> uh huh. Yeah. A Pioneer with scissors. The Pioneer X. So, cadets sell brand new for like, what, 25 bucks? Pioneer Xs sell for about 50 so what's that, 75 total? You can buy these both shipped priority mail, $60 for the pair, plus 15 to sharpen the Cadet, plus 20 to sharpen the Pioneer X. So it's going to say 60, 75, 95, both like new no box. That's the Victorinox Alox combo. Next up, we're going to call this the Victorinox Red combo. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, I think I just mixed them up. Doggone it. So first up, we have the Victorinox Mountaineer. Red plastic. Tweezer. Toothpick. Split ring. Corkscrew. With screwdriver. Coiled in. Straight pin. Parcel hook. All with eyelet. Main spear, secondary pen, file, scissors, small screwdriver can opener, large screwdriver, wire cutter, cap lifter. <clears throat> That's the Mountaineer. And the only wear is just storage wear in the shiny glossy plastic. Then we got the Super Tinker. Main spear. Secondary pen. Scissors. Pliers. Small screwdriver can opener. Large screwdriver wire cutter cap lifter. Phillips screwdriver. Straight pen. Toothpick. Tweezer, split ring, parcel hook, 
and all with eyelet. Same condition, very near mint, no box, just a little storage wear in the plastic. So, <clears throat> the Mountaineer sells for 45 new online. The Super Tinker sells for 40 so 85 bucks total. You can buy them both, near mint, no box, $65 plus 20 each to sharpen, which is a deal because they both have two blades. That, oh, I kind of made a mistake there, didn't I? That's the Victorinox Red Combo. <clears throat> Next up, first time we've had one of these on the channel for sale. This is the KME Precision Knife Sharpening System. This is the Diamond Stone Kit. The Diamond Stone Kit. So it's going to come with, you know, your documentation. A red cloth. A bottle. A wooden base. The clamping mechanism extension rod base standard other assorted hardware so these are all diamond impregnated hones on steel so your stock kit comes with 140 300 600 and 1500 this kit has a little something extra right you got your extra coarse or extra extra coarse 100 grit diamond and then back here is a strop impregnated with some green compound okay so without those two extras this kit sells online for 200 bucks see if i can ever get this back in here right Uh, we're going to sell you this one. It is extremely near mint. Hardly been used. Um, maybe like one or two knives. So your price on this one is going to be $150 shipped priority mail. And guys, $16 of that is shipping. So that's a deal. That's the KME Diamond Stone Sharpening System. Next up, from... K-Bar, we have a big box. Inside the big box comes a K-Bar 1245 Tato. You're going to have a molded plastic sheath with, count them, two nylon button straps. And positive retention via the sheath. Look at that gorgeous blade. That is seven and seven eighths inches of epoxy coated 1095. And if you're seeing a glint that doesn't look factory, <laughs> it's because I sharpened this. So that is like $35 of the Apostle P sharpening work on this knife. Rubber or craton handle. Classic K bar handle. You can buy these brand new for like 62 bucks on Amazon. But as I said, $35 of the Apostle P sharpening service work done on that edge. And you can buy this one. Ship priority mail for $60. Six zero. Near mint. Better than better than new with my edge on it. Uh, in box, 60 bucks. K bar, 1245 Tonto. TAP. Next up from the Studies and Observations Group, otherwise known as SOG Knives, we have the Pentagon OTF. This knife makes me grin. Because, let's face it, guys, we about gave up on SOG, didn't we? Chinese crap after Chinese crap, and now they went and did this. That hard anodized aluminum handle has a hint of, like, dark teal in it. And then the button is kind of bronzy. The deep carry clip just has one little discreet SOG on the end. That's only going to be one way, but it doesn't matter. 
because it's a double-edged knife. DLC coated S35VN three and three quarters inches of double-edged dagger wearing an Apostle P edge. You gotta come forward. Kind of a medium to firm button. 100% reliable in my hand. <clears throat> we'll call it near mint in box. Web pricing on this knife is $350 brand new. This one can be yours with an Apostle P Edge. $295. The SOG Pentagon OTF TAP. Next up. From a brand I've never heard of, a knife I've never seen. Half breed knives, and I'm not even going to get into all the stuff in this box. There's a lot of it. Accessories, literature, swag. What we've got here is the half breed compact clearance in a coyote tan molded plastic sheath. It's wearing a molly clip. You also get a tech lock. Inside the sheath comes this thing. We have edge, we have edge, we have edge, we have no edge. I'm not sure the philosophy of use on that knife. <clears throat> I don't know. D2 blade, three and seven eighths inches long to about here. And then three and seven eighths inches a handle from there. Okay. Beautiful uh, sort of flat dark earth G10. Mini scales. I guess this is the spine. I'm looking at where the sub hilt is. So this is all cutting edge on the bottom. That's interesting. Surely some, somebody is more familiar with this than I. Anyway, it is like new in the box. Web price on this knife, they make several blade shapes. This is the most expensive one at $195 web price. It can be yours like new in the box for $145. And guys, $16 of that is priority postage. So that's a pretty good buy. $145 like it is. $175 for me to sharpen. And then again, that ain't enough. I'd probably leave those edges alone. Just saying. That is the Half Breed Compact Clearance. Next up. Oh, Hogue made a fixed blade. Yes, they did. Hogue knives. Again, the unnecessarily complicated Hogue model number. Model 35328-EX-F03. This is the Hogue EXF03. Warncliffe variety. So it comes in a rather interesting sheath. I think that's Kydex. I don't know. It might be Kydex. It might be molded plastic. This would be for horizontal carry. And a very interesting method of extraction. you got to push down these buttons. There's your Hawkbill blade. 154cm. Alan Elishowitz design. Blade length is 2.5. Handle 4 inches. Purple and gray. Milled G10 handle. A ringtail affair actually works pretty doggone well. Then you're also going to get this Kydex neck sheath, should you choose to use it. Mm -hmm. That whole sheet match right there is 136 online at your favorite web knife purveyor. Plus tax, of course, or just buy this one. It's like new in the box. $90 all-in shipped priority mail. That is the Hogue 35328-EXF03. Next up, oh, has anybody ever seen a Microtech box this large? Well, you have now. Inside it comes the double-edged Microtech SBD dagger. Yes, sir, Bob. Carbon fiber effect, 
Tidex sheath, tech lock attached. Inside is this thing. Ooh. CTS 204P, four and a half inches of broad dagger blade, serrated on one side. This one born May of 2021. Removable milled black G10 handle scales. Super cool perforated fuller satin, little satin flat. Everything else stone washed. Yeah, that'll work. Four and a half inch blade, four and five eighths handle. <clears throat> it's like new in the box. These are out of stock. When they were available, they were $325 web price. This one can be yours, $275 like it is. And since we're only going to sharpen one side, we'll just do it for $300. Sharpen for $300. Kind of an in-between blade size. So yeah, $275 like it is, $300 sharpened. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six. It's the Microtech SBD Dagger. That brings us, my friends, to the last knife in the sale. And it comes in the glorious soft-sided gold bug pouch. And inside that pouch comes the civilian. You know, you wouldn't think... A Seki City produced G10 handled midlock knife would merit the luxury pouch, which you just wouldn't think so until you do this. Oh, 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 oh. oh my, that is four and one eighth inches of S curved spider edged karambit. Flesh ripping masterpiece is what that is. Oh, it's going to be right hand carry, tip up or down. Rock solid lockup, buttery smooth action. Hard to, hard to say on the centering because of the grind, but I think it favors the right. Condition is going to be like new in pouch. If you buy one of these brand new and they are in stock, it's going to cost you 232 at whatever retailer you find that has one. This one can be yours. Shipped priority mail for $175. $175 like it is, and I ain't going to sharpen it because it don't need it. That's the Spider Coast Civilian. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of another knife sale on the Apostle P channel. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, the word is sharp. Have at her, boys.